Oh, we've got a really busy few days coming up. We're going to go to Fraser Island. Last episode, we spent the day getting the ute in shape for Fraser Island and made our way onto Tiwa Beach for a night's camp with some friends. So, we're finally here, met up with Luke and Jess. This week, we are driving back down the beach to meet Darcy to go to Fraser. <laughs> Bloody smashed in, Skip. Yeah, a bit of momentum, a bit of momentum. Just a bit of banter, <laughs> Fraser Island banter about how good the highlight sounds. <laughs> Getting crashed through the sand. I'm Matt, and this is Holly. We've been travelling around Australia for the past 12 months in our old Toyotas, going to some of the most incredible locations. Subscribe and join the adventure. Last week we camped here on Tiwa Beach. This episode we drive back down the beach to meet Darcy, and then follow an inland route to Rainbow Beach and Inskep Point where we catch the ferry to go to Fraser. Sleep. All right. I miss. I miss the canopy. <laughs> yeah, I miss the canopy as well. Got yeah, a nice bed in it. Yeah, but it was alright. You're a legend. Oh my god. It is 5 in the morning and so we got up at 4.30 and now we are driving back down the beach to meet Darcy to go to Fraser. <laughs> you wouldn't think it's 5, it's so bright. Like yeah. in my head it's sort of 6.30. 6, I don't know, 6 7. Spending the night with Luke and Jess are just awesome people. So, so cool. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. People, so... Yeah, yeah so we all link their Instagram up here somewhere. Yeah, it's so amazing. So go check, check it out. It out. We've just stopped in Rainbow Beach. Uh, we chopped up our fuel and got some breakfast. And we are heading out to Inskip Point now. The famous Infamous Inskip Point. <laughs> oh, well. Hopefully we won't be on, what is it, Inskip Action? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, not, we're not getting on it. So this behind us 
is in Skip Point, the famous point you see on YouTube. <laughs> so we're airing down. Right down. <laughs> 12 from the front. I'm just going to put 12 all around probably. Bloody hell. Look at this unit get through in skip point. Wow, hey. No bogging down, no bogging down here. Woo! Down in two wheel drive. Bloody smashed in skip. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what all the fuss is about. That was actually fine, but then like the sand's not too hot and it hasn't been cut up too much today, but still, yeah. like it, it wasn't hard. Like just let your air right down and you'll be right. Yeah. They're 47 and they pull up to a 40, 45, 45. Troopy and all the everybody's just We're like... We're just here in the highlights like, oh. We're just in the highlights like, oh. And we're like, we, we own one as well actually, yeah. yeah. We, we actually do have one of these, yeah. We're, we're it's called. just not here. It's just, it's just not here, yeah, not registered. It's a little bit rusty, but we have one. Yeah. Uh, I wish we had it. Yeah, it just makes me want to go back and, you know, get it on the road so we can take it. Cause it's got, you've got so much street cred when you cruise around. Oh, yeah. Up. All the street cred. Yeah. All the four-wheel drive street cred. Yeah, yeah, decently fast. Yeah, a bit of momentum, a bit of momentum. <laughs> Do I just send it? Definitely got through that. Nice hole. Oh my god, last one and first water crossing out. So before I get torn apart in the comments for this recovery, this guy was a tourist with a hire car. The recovery point at the back was really rusted, so I didn't want to get too much momentum with the snatch strap. Also, we didn't have a dampener, which of course we should have. Everyone was standing well back though. He was also a bit late getting his wheels moving. Fraser Island is an amazing place, but can be quite treacherous. Make sure you are well prepared and are a skilled four-wheel driver if you plan on coming here. It's so 
hard work being four drive heroes. Yeah. Except there's aircon on. It's hard work too. Overland travellers to the rescue for the tourists. Yeah. <laughs> In Happy Valley. <laughs> Funny place. It's really cool. Yeah, it's the whole you're saying, like, it's no part of phrase that you don't really see much. Like, yeah, you know, it's you like just the townships. Yeah, you know, all the little villages and that. It's really cool. Yeah. So there's accommodation on the island as well. You don't have to camp, which we only found that out yesterday. Very cool. Shove the camera in her face. <laughs> How did you swim? It was amazing. So, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Marley, and I'm from Victoria. Very Please. good. That's the only <laughs> things. That's the only things I asked, and you answered it. Darcy's next. You from the same spot, mate? Where did she say we're from? Victoria. <laughs> oh, originally. Yeah. Done a bit of uh, nomading. Bit of travelling. Yeah. In the forty. How good. Found ourselves here with <laughs> Fraser. Nice guys, nice. Just went for a little dip in Eli Creek. It was actually really refreshing and it wasn't too much of high tide for us to cross it. So now we are going to go see the shipwreck and then just after that point we will start heading inland to an inland track. So I've just pulled off the beach now and uh, we're heading up into the island which is exciting. Came to see some of the forests and how it looks. We're going to try and get to the west side. Uh... Join us next week for part two of our Fraser Island adventure. So we've just pulled into camp here, cracked a beer. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything from us. Bit of go-go juice. <laughs> just a little bit of go-go juice. I'm after my 35 litres to the 100. We hope you're all staying safe and well in isolation and hopefully things will get back to normal soon. Thanks guys, see you next time.